Today's episode will feature hashtag 2019 make nine and will be my knitting and crochet version. If you're interested in seeing my sewing version, I will link it up here. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I have already posted my Make 9, but I have adjusted it just a little bit already, and I have not started any of these yet. I don't have any printouts of the patterns for these, so I will be inserting images once I edit this for you. I will show you the yarns that I have for the, some of them and others I have yet to select, and maybe you'll be able to help me when the time comes that I get around to making these individual patterns. So number one on my list was my first substitute. I want to make the uh, Vulenvine Sparkling Cider Hat and I have yarn all ready for that. It is ha, -ha Vulenvine in the colorway Dragon Tears which is an absolute gorgeous purple and green blend. I love it so much. This was an impulse buy a few months ago and I did not know what I was going to make with it but when the sparkling cider hat came out I knew since I have a green coat this would be perfect. I will be pairing it with some Knit Picks mohair that I have in a very pale lavender color. I forget the name of the color I think it's Penny Royal possibly um, but I'm not 100% sure on that color name but it is I think the only pale purple that they have and it's from some years ago so whether or not Knit Picks still carries that I don't know. I do know that they still have the Mohair Silk Blend yarn I just don't know what their current colorway is but that is on my list. The next pattern I'm going to make is just a sock pattern but it, it's just a little variation and I have a whole lot more socks on my to make list for 2019 but narrowing it down to a specific pattern that I wanted to incorporate on my list, I chose the Slip It Simple pattern by Treasured Goddess. And I am going to be making it in my Woolberry Fiber Co. sock set from the Gilmore Girls Club. This is the colorway Stars Hollow. It is a lovely yellow and taupe with nice little specks of burgundy and some black and green in there and then it has this really nice burnt orange red it's showing up much brighter red on camera than it actually is it's a much more orange autumn tone very stars hollow but I'm going to be making that sock pattern out of this yarn the next one is the substitute pattern from my original list it is just the M83 crochet and knit pattern. It is a vintage pattern from the 1930s. I purchased it on Etsy from Subversive Femme. So if you're interested in getting a copy, you can go on there and get one too. It is a download. I think it only cost about $2. But I originally saw this pattern made up by the vintage gal over on her blog and it was just so pretty and it's I love the idea of the way it is crocheted and then woven and then has the armbands and the waistband knit it's so pretty and my inspiration for wanting to do this is a pair of shoes that I've had in my collection for a number of years that I have always wanted to coordinate with a sweater I had it set in my mind of this 1930s look of a sweater with a white skirt and these shoes. These are from quite a number of years ago. They're Keds, but they're modeled after some of their vintage styles that they used to have and they're just so perfectly 1930s tennis court to me. And I wanted to have a green sweater that I purchased uh, yarn for uh, in a Knitflix Shine Sport in apple green I believe was the colorway and I have made a couple of different sweaters in that yarn and I've never been satisfied with the fit and the drape of them so I think that that yarn is going to suit this crochet and woven pattern just perfectly and will pair nicely with my vintage me made skirt in white that I made to go with the shoes and I'm just really excited to finally get this outfit together that I've envisioned for so many years now. The next one I have is by Skandeer Knits and these her patterns are all found on Ravelry. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this correctly, but it is the Winterfell sweater. I love that. I love the yoke, and I will most likely be doing it in the colors that she had originally uh, done them in in her uh, pictures on her pattern. Um, I may not use the yarn that she suggests, uh, but she does say you can make it in Knit Picks palette yarn, which I like very much, so I may be using that yarn for that pattern. I'm really excited to try a modern top-down pattern like that. I have never done that before, so that is one of my challenges for my Make Nine is to do things that I've not done before. And it, oh, I love that she keeps a um, vintage style. It's a, more of a fitted sweater. It has waist shaping and everything in it instead of a more straight fit modern style. So I'm looking forward to casting that on and trying that out. The next pattern that I've selected is the Gwen Stacy hat. Gwen Stacy is a character from Spider-Man. She was featured in the Amazing Spider-Man movies and she wears a really cute cable knit hat. The next sweater that I have on my list is the Frenchie sweater that I'm going to make. And it is by Poison Girls Knits, also on Ravelry. And I have recently purchased my yarn for that. Knit Picks was having a sale, and of course, I got this adorable free tote bag. When they give you offers like that, you know you have to fill your cart in order to get the free tote bag. And I'm really loving this one over tote bags that I've gotten from them in the past because it's a nice heavy canvas. It has a nice shoulder strap. Love the kitties and yarn, of course. And it has a snap closure, so it's perfect for a project bag. The yarn that I have chosen for that sweater is Knit Picks Gloss DK, and the colorway is Velveteen. It is a very soft purple mauve color. It's not a color I usually gravitate to. I usually don't like colors as dusty as this, but I wanted to try something a little bit different, and I felt that this was the perfect color for the Frenchie sweater, and I'm really looking forward to making that up. The next one on my list I'm going to make is another Poison Girls sweater, but I'm going to modify it a little bit. It's the Betty and Judy Lodge sweater, which I love, but instead of doing the holly leaf motif, I have found a graph to make Hello Kitty. So I am going to make Hello Kitty on one side of that sweater, and I think that is going to be absolutely adorable. Next to last on my list for my Make Nine is called the Best Girl Cardigan. It is a vintage pattern that I started a few years ago while on vacation, and I was making it in royal blue Knit Picks cotton yarn. It's a short sleeve sweater, and I made a mistake in the line or something where I had started it so it wasn't it wasn't balanced right either on the front or the back. I forget. It's been a number of years. But I still have all the yarn so I'm going to completely frog it, start that sweater over and it'll be a nice cotton summer sweater. And absolutely last on my list is uh, a sweater cardigan by Andy Satterland. I really like her patterns. I've made one other before that I think needs a little bit of tweaking. I've not 100% finished it, but um, I really love how her fast her patterns come together and how vintage they are. The uh, Armand or Arm Armande, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but it's a, it's a free pattern on Ravelry. So if you want to give her patterns a try, go over there and download that one and see how you like it. Um, I have not selected my yarn yet for it. Uh, I've had a few ideas rolling around in my head of what color I want to make that, but I think it's a beautiful fall sweater. So it'll probably be closer to the late summer, fall before I think about casting that one on. So there you have it, my hashtag 2019 make nine for knit and crochet. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos to come. Until next time, 